So if we move down, okay, so on the committees, here are some of the committees that we've talked about right now. The community collective, and I'm sorry Larry's not here to hear that, but this is part of what we're talking about. It's really working with other organizations, like organizations, organizations that have similar missions, similar visions, and trying to make sure we're not reinventing the wheel. Some, some of us feel the same way about a lot of issues, so let's try to unite those, those energies and efforts around those things. We may be able to help each other out. Membership committee is obviously it's a no-brainer. It's an important committee, and it's something I want all of you who, who join the organization to feel welcome to be able to communicate what your priorities are, what your interests are, and what your concerns are. Um, so I'm hoping this will be a very uh, well-received committee. Government affairs, because we're a 501c3, our focus is really around education and providing information to you. Um, but it's going to be related to those subjects that are important to you. Um, we have a focus right now around alternative works. So we want to really provide some education because we see contract opportunities that are being passed over because folks aren't familiar with the process. They're not familiar with the, the people who are making these contracting decisions. They're not familiar with how the process is managed and how, what it takes to get paid and under each one of those environments, which is very important. Professional development, that's a piece that we really want to help in, in a variety of different areas. And our hope is that we'll be able to cross a, a multitude of subjects. Uh, we have identified those areas that have been communicated to me in my interviews, but they may not be inclusive of everyone. So make sure you identify where those areas of professional development are. I, I'm going to use a good opportunity to segue into ABC. ABC has a great program around safety. So if you want to learn more about safety, if you want to learn about the retro program, it's a great segue, a great opportunity for you to do that. And first and foremost, I just talked about communications. It's key. The only way I'm able to wear as many hats as I am as I do is because I have good communication tools and people <laughs> that keep me out of trouble. Um, next step, uh, complete survey, prospective uh, customers, policy priorities, and SWAT. So that's all really membership based. We're really trying to identify what those priorities of yours are. Develop membership sponsorship profiles. I'm going to show you what an example of one looks like. This data, these little, this little data on your, on your table, that's the data that's going to help develop your profiles. And those profiles will be presented to our sponsors and public agencies and nonprofit owner developers. So we want to get your businesses in front of those organizations. And the only way we can do that is if you provide us with that data. Um, unfortunately, it may not be the format that some of your brochures are on. So you're going to have to do a little translation. If you need some help with that, I'll make myself available for you because I want your businesses in a good position. Um, I want face shots of you. you. You see I have camera people here. By the way, you probably saw me writing checks. I just cut three checks, okay? That's what we do. <laughs> we work together. That's what I want to see you guys doing. I want to see you knowing your talent, the resources that you have around you that can provide some value to your organization. If you can't give me a face shot, you better go over there to see this good-looking young man over here, Keith who owns uh, Fly Right Productions. If you're looking at doing a commercial or video for your business or organization, you better come over here and talk to Ginny Ting with Interchange Media Productions. And if you're looking to create some new branding messaging, web development and so forth, you better be talking to Mel over here with Michael, okay? So it's really important that you use those resources. I'm bringing them right here to you. I'm spending the first dollars. Now, hopefully, as we grow the organizations, you guys will help reimburse some of these uh, uh, much-needed resources that we have. We want to record testimonials. I would take the time to show you 15 minutes of testimonials, but guess what? It's on the internet. I can email them to you. Our, each of our board members talked about why they are uh, participating in EIW, what they believe the organization needs, and what the vision of EIW is. I think you'd be real interested in hearing uh, their, their input. So we have that information. Jenny just posted that up on YouTube, so I'll send you the links. You guys can take a look at the links. It's good information. And Tim Strage is also one of our board members presented there as well. Uh, developed job descriptions, we talked about that. Uh, draft business plan. 
going to take us some time because this, this organization is fairly deep and it has some fairly aggressive uh, ambitions. So in order to do that, we need to have a plan to support it. So that's going to need to be done. We need to identify advisory board members. We talked about the uh, committee chairs. We also talked about having subject matter experts that can help us take us to the next level. Uh, develop membership sponsorship information and the membership package and develop our profile template, which I've already done. And that's our presentation. I'm going to show you this profile. Okay, so this is what my hope is that all of your profiles will look like. You're all better looking than me, so hopefully you'll have all your pretty face shots and good stuff in there. But this is what it is. So the Entrepreneur Institute of Washington Membership Business Profile. There's your organization name. Come over here. These are the services that your organization provides. How many years you've been involved in the industry and what your focus is. Here's a little area for your little bio. That, that's something that we'll present, we'll, we'll yeah, develop for you. Yeah, you quit that high school picture, you know. Um, <laughs> that wasn't that long ago. I took that in 2006. <laughs> Had the wind blowing and everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ladies, look at this. <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> it was photoshopped, all right? <laughs> you know how slender I look? <laughs> Can you shrink that face up a little bit? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so here's the other half of the, of the profile. If you've won some awards, let's talk about them. Let's hear about them. That's what I'm going to be pro promoting to your, to your future clientele. I've got a few achievements, so I'm, I'm marking them all and putting them out there. Here's my address, my email, my phone, my fax. Some of you are familiar with your NAICS code. That means the, the, the North American Industry Classification Code. Why do I know that? I'm crazy. I don't know. But you need to know these because when you're filling out these applications, a lot of that's necessary. Hopefully, EIW will be able to provide some value to you because once we have the data in there, we can just cut and paste it. Can we scroll it over to the right so we can see the rest of that? Then we come over here to the far right of this document, and this really tries to get us a little more proactive here. A little further down. Can I scroll? Right, left click. Left click. Sorry. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Mr. Wizard over there. And then scroll down. Scroll down a little bit. So here are some of my major customers. This is just an example. This is not yours. You will develop your own. But see, here are some of my major customers, public, private. And here are some of the folks that I want to do work with. You know, if you see your name there and I'm not working with you, you better stop at the door and tell me why. <laughs> but again, that's what the hope is. So we want to be able to develop this like document for each of our membership, our members. We also want to be able to provide um, our sponsors with that same sort of publicity as well. So that's one of the, the value added pieces. So this document that you all have in front of you, which most of you probably can't read because I have it so small, my apologies, is this document. Again, name, your organizational specialties, we want to know something about the size of your business so we can have a, a better idea of what kind of support resources that you may need. So right over here we have what your annual revenue is. And just estimates. I'm not looking at your audited financial statements. Just, you know, throw what you believe those numbers are. Industry experience. We talked about major customers. And this little piece right here is really key. It talks about which committees you want to participate in. If you have some other interest, whether it be public contracting, healthcare, unemployment, safety, there may be some other things that are not there. Let me know what those are. But here are some of the organizational priorities for you. Do you want to increase volume? Do you want to increase profit? Do you want access to capital and credit? Do you want access to a new or niche market? Do you need some help with employment HR? Do you want to expand outside of Washington? Do uh, you need some help with technology? Do you need some help with marketing, website, social media, accounting, job costing, estimating, proposal development, project management? 
We hit most of the categories. There may be some things that we haven't covered. If we haven't, tell us what those things are. Um, that is my presentation today. I have other things that I could probably talk to you about, but it is 8.15, and I'd like to, for you all to be able to get back to your families. I'm going to give a moment for the board if you have any uh, closing topics or announcements that you'd like folks to know about. Uh, one thing, just we side talked a little bit here, the, the business profiles, I think the business profile that you just discussed is really important. Um, I, I think that just looking at each other is important, who you are, but for us to look at who you are as well is an important piece. And, and so that profile I think is critical and I really, really appreciate it. It's the first time we've, we've seen it. And I think it's great, and I, I hope we'll get the paper. Good out there. Good out there. Would you just steal this idea? <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, would you just steal this idea? Oh, I didn't steal it. He's stealing it now. He's stealing it from me. I think uh, I belong to a lot of organizations, right? Mm -hmm. This is a damn good thing. I think uh, the uh, our, the, your, not our, your, the, uh, what do you call it, members, right? Future members that can look at it, you know what I mean? So they can do some networking too. So it's a really <laughs> one of the darnest things, that, what do you call it, the, uh, the uh, uh, good stuff I ever seen, you know? But simple thing, but it's a tremendous tool to you guys to use, right? Thank you. It's a good, good. It's a good, a good Thank beginning. you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so you all know, we, we obviously have video, we have a photographer here. Um, this, uh, the footage will be used for EIW purposes. I don't know that we have enough of the video sign-in uh, sheets. Um, Jenny, did you bring any authorization forms? Okay, so if, if anyone has any concerns as it relates to the, this footage, please express those to me as soon as possible. Um, we typically like to have the information posted on our free uh, or excuse me, in a secured site uh, using YouTube. Um, but it's too much footage to put out there, so I'm going to cut it down. So if folks have some thoughts, some impressions, definitely let us know what those are. 